CTV5, of course, is your home oh, of yeah. the Chiefs, and we are already planning ahead past Saturday's or Sunday's AFC Championship game right here in Kansas City. We're looking down the road to Atlanta. Why, Why not? not? Think big, right? <laughs> we wanted to know how much would it cost for fans to go to watch the Super Bowl in person. Leslie Aguilar did some planning for that trip and is here to show us uh, likely why I will not be going. <laughs> yeah, Georgina, well, let's just say a Super Bowl trip isn't affordable for me or probably most people. The tickets themselves will break the bank, and that's not including the travel cost. First things first when planning a Super Bowl trip, tickets. The lowest price they're showing right now. Ticketmaster prices, definitely not affordable. StubHub, cheaper but still $3,700. That's for the upper deck, but it's our most affordable option. Next, we gotta get there. It's more than 12 hours to drive to Atlanta from Kansas City, so we want to fly. For right now, 274.86, that's, that's not bad. That's with a 10 hour layover, but hey, it's cheap. Next, hotel. The ones close to the stadium, it doesn't look like they have that many rooms left. There's Sold out already. But we had luck a little farther out. Were you looking for one bed or two? Um, one bed is fine. Bingo for two nights at the Best Western. With taxes and totals, it comes out to $2,746.43. Yeah, that's not bad. Not affordable. So we kept looking. It's uh, $299 plus tax per night. The total would be $702.18. That's at Super 8. How many rooms are left for that week? I've got 10 rooms in total. So we have our estimated trip costs now. I'd like to be closer to the front and not in the nosebleed section, but yeah, I've got, I'd like to go. It's the first time they've been uh, this close to the Super Bowl in, uh, since I've been alive almost. So <laughs> it's with, looking forward to it. We asked fans to guess the cheapest prices we found. Cheapest 500 bucks. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Ballpark, I guess. It's even worse than I thought. Our grand total Super Bowl trip cost for two before taxes, without food and spending or transportation in Atlanta, almost $9,000. Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not going to the Super Bowl. That's a lot. I I'd be watching them on TV, though. Not exactly affordable. But you can bet Arrowhead will be packed this Sunday. So keep in mind, all of those prices were as of about 8.30 yesterday morning. They've already gone up, and I bet some of those hotels we spoke with have already sold out. So the longer you wait, the more expensive that trip is going to be. Reporting <laughs> live in the studio, let's <laughs> thank you out KCTV 5 News. This I'm is in just shock. craziness. $700 <laughs> for the, the Super 8? Mm -hmm. Is that Super what it was? Eight motel, Which is like forty nine dollars normally oh, a man. night or something crazy. All that right. is wild. I think everybody at home, you just help them make their decision, Leslie. So thank you. <laughs> it's five twenty four right now. We're going to be live leading up to Sunday's big game. Tune into KCTV five as our road to Atlanta continues. Our expensive road to Atlanta, <laughs> right here on KCTV five. Just buy a new.